What's up guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how you can set up your ClickMagic tracking through those custom domain links that we've set up with Cloudflare on ClickFunnels. So we're going to do it on ClickFunnels because, um, sorry, we're going to do it on Cloudflare because ClickFunnels only works with Cloudflare in regards to custom domain integration, okay? So let's jump in. So last time we've set up our site here. Uh, check out the previous video if you want to see how to do that on Cloudflare. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to DNS and I will simply add the C name and the subdomain for ClickMagic so that we can track it, right? So we've set this up, but we, but we need to track our link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write um, whatever subdomain you guys want to use. So, uh, you know, maybe track is a popular one because we're going to deselect cloaking. So we're not going to have cloaking or masking, right? I'm using it interchangeably here based on ClickMagic terms. Um, I'm not going to have that on. So my raw link will show, which is this one, which is what we have here, which is fine. Okay. So I'm going to use track, but you can use anything. You can use go, you could use monkeys, right? Monkeys, whatever it is. So I'm just going to say track and I'm going to input that click magic, uh, that, that click magic, um, domain name, which we need. So that's going to be, let me just go here real quick. Let me see what they have. It's C L K M G mg.com and actually I'm going to say mg.com and if you're lost or if you're not sure just feel free to go to FAQs and type in a uh, recommended way to set up a custom domain and they go through and they tell you what to use so here it's going to say clkmg um, and if you need the IP for the A um, for this AA name you can go here and use this IP for links or this IP for rotators okay but basically, that's what I plug in here. And now I'm going to say add record. Now, the key to making this work is actually not having this at orange. So you actually need to deselect that, have it at gray. And now it should work, okay? Uh, so you should give it anywhere from, you know, up to 24 hours. But I'm going to try it right now. So we've set that up. So now, even though we have our awesome domain set up and all nice and working, um, now we can actually track it. So I'm going to go here. So let's go back to our domain manager. And let's put that in. Let's put in track. It was marketing success dot site. C name DNS. We'll say no for cloaking. We don't need to. We've already set up our custom domain, which looks awesome. Okay. And I'm going to add. And perfect. It works. So we don't even have to wait. Okay. I don't even have to pause the video. So, but normally it can't take up to 24 hours. So don't fret if that's the case. So now we can go to here. Let me add this URL actually to here instead of this one now. Actually, we have two, right? We have two. So let me add this one in here instead. And then because we had two, I mean, we had four at some point, but I just deleted them just to make this easier, right, for our split testing. But if you want to see how to split test more than two pages, check out my, my previous video on that where we split test four or more pages at the same time. Uh, but I'm just going to use that for now. So let me take that page and I'm going to put it in here as well. So let me go here and delete this one. So that's the old one. See, it's result famous. Uh, now it looks much prettier, right? So as, assuming marketing success that site corresponds to whatever you're selling, it's going to be much prettier. So let's say that and let's say this one variation two. Okay, so that's done. Now here is our new tracking. So we need to select it and we need to say track marketing success that site, save changes, say no to cloaking because we've already integrated with Cloudflare. And here is what people will see. But here is what we type in and give to people to click so they can actually, so we can track the results and see it in ClickMagic. So as you saw, I just copied this link. So let me just go to a new window, paste it here. And as you can see here, it's secure based on our secure certificate, right? And it's there. So if I click refresh, there you go. One unique click, you're good to go. You can track it. That's how you do it. That's how you do this whole integration process with Cloudflare. Uh, again, we can't do it on Namecheap because click funnels only works with uh, Cloudflare at this point. So thanks for watching. If you guys have questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Please subscribe. If you already subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.